My name is Kathy, and today I'll be continuing the talk on feng shui. Today, we'll start to put it all together. We'll continue to put it all together. But before I do this, I wanted to let you know that because I have a great many videos now on many different topics, that I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. When learning the principles of feng shui, I like to approach the subject as if the knowledge were placed on an ever-descending spiral that moves ever deeper into the understanding of feng shui. First, we explored what qi is and the different types of qi. Then we moved around the spiral of knowledge again at a deeper level and explored the concepts of yin and yang. And then we moved on to a discussion of the five elements, the three cycles, the nine star system, your lucky stars, the fortune of your door, the study of the bagua and two diagnostic methods, the effects of clutter, difficult door and window placements, how to handle problems associated with the shape of your home, and how to use color to harmonize the chi of your home, and how to use lighting and mirrors to harmonize the chi of your home, and learning about the passageways of your home, and the bedroom, bathroom, living room, family room, study, home office, kitchen, the one bedroom and studio apartment, crystals in feng shui, and today we will continue to put all of this information together. Let's continue this process by putting it all together, of uh, putting it all together by using another example. So that you can understand how the principles and theories that have been discussed in these feng shui videos can be synthesized. And how the principles of feng shui can change lives dramatically as people become harmonized with their homes. Let's look now at another family. In this family dynamic we have the father Jason and his wife Stephanie lived with their teenage son Michael and their daughter Lisa in a metropolitan downtown loft. The father Jason was successful in business and was generally happy with his life. The wife Stephanie on the other hand was in a state of confusion and flux trying to decide whether to continue being a full-time mother and housewife or embark on a new career. The son Michael was generally happy. He had many friends and was doing well in school. The daughter Lisa, although she was doing well in school, was a sensitive child and was easily upset. The father Jason's date of birth was August 12, 1962, and the mother Stephanie was born on October 13, 1963. Thus, both parents were born during the autumn or metal season. The son Michael was born March 1, 1998, and the daughter Lisa was born February 10, 2003, which means that both children were born during the spring or wood season. The family's stars are as follows. The father Jason's birth star is 2 Earth and his lucky stars are 6 metal and 7 metal and 8 earth. The mother Stephanie's birth star is 5 earth, and her lucky stars are 2 earth, 7 metal, and 8 earth. Like his father, son Michael's birth star is 2 earth, and his lucky stars are 5 earth, 6 metal, and 8 earth, and 9 fire. The daughter Lisa's birth star is 9 fire, and her lucky stars are three wood and four wood. It will be noted that the son Michael has more in common with his parents, especially his father, than with the mother Stephanie, even though he and his mother Stephanie were both born in the same season. The father, mother, and son were all west types, born under earth stars, and they all had six metal and seven metal as their lucky stars. In contrast, the daughter Lisa was an East type, and she shared no lucky stars with the other members of her family. She was completely different and therefore was of special concern. The birth stars of Michael and his parents were in harmony with the west-facing door, but the daughter Lisa's birth star was out of harmony with the door. Their fortunes, as derived from the combinations of their birth stars with the compass direction of the doorway, 
revealed that the father Jasons and the son Michael were in a harmonious and lucky place for them. It also showed that mother Stephanie needed to cultivate independent thinking if she was to attain any of her own goals, and that daughter Lisa was faced with hardships and challenges. It was determined, therefore, that it was important to concentrate on both mother Stephanie and daughter Lisa's situations and balance the space more to their advantage. When combining everyone in the family's birth star with their seasons, it was revealed that this family's home should be very comfortable yet orderly, that it should be warmly decorated with square shapes, beautiful displays of flowers and works of art, and with the colors of earth and fire, or yellow and reds, where possible. It also should provide the children with ample space for studying and for creative activities looking at their home as shown in this next diagram. Looking at the first diagram, we can see that the bedrooms were situated at the back of the loft and their windows opened on an air shaft. The bedrooms were dark and oppressive and to make matters worse, the parents' bedrooms was painted a dark blue. The cluttered condition of the parents' bedroom in the north and the northwest areas of the loft hinted at some of the underlying causes of the mother Stephanie's difficulties in defining her career goals. She was concealing her aims from herself because of her fears of change or of losing control of the life she had. The clutter in the southwest area also showed that she had deep worries about her confused creative drives. The exaggerations of the northwest and southwest areas, symbolizing the father and mother respectively, show both Father Jason and Mother Stephanie as very strong and willful. They further hint that Stephanie was afraid that if she did her assert her independence and change the family's status quo, that she and her husband Jason would come into opposition with one another. In addition to difficult difficulties indicated by the cluttered areas, everyone's bed was in the wrong position. Son Michael and his parents' bed were lined to the east and were out of harmony with their birth and lucky stars, while daughter Lisa's bed was in the most unfortunate long narrow space, with its head at one wall and its foot at the other. To remedy these problems and to balance the chi of the space with colors, each person's bed was realigned to his or her lucky stars as shown in the second diagram. Daughter Lisa was given the southwest room and her bed was positioned so that she would be able to sleep with her head pointing east. The clutter that had been in the southwest corner was eliminated and new closets were built in the eastern section of the loft. The wall that divided Lisa's original bedroom space from her son Michael's was taken down. This enlarged room was then given to the parents, Jason and Stephanie, and their bed was positioned so that they would be able to sleep with their heads pointing west, the direction of seven metal, one of their lucky stars. A mirrored wall was constructed and placed in the entrance to their bedroom as a barrier to protect them from intrusions and to stop the chi from coming directly into the bedroom and cutting across their bed. The original space of the parents' bedroom became son Michael's bedroom, and his bed was positioned so that his head pointed south, the direction of his lucky star, Nine Fire. The original doorway to his bedroom was sealed off to provide more wall space and to accommodate his bed. A new wall was constructed with a new door to give his room a more separate feeling and to give daughter Lisa more private access to the adjoining bathroom. In addition to these changes, because daughter Lisa's birth star, which is nine fire, was out of harmony with the element of the west facing front door, a picture of yellow flowers was placed next to the door to provide needed balance for her, since yellow corresponds to earth and mitigates the conflict of fire and metal. To help balance the irregularities of the shape of the loft, a large mirror was placed on the west wall at the career point, an auspicious place 
considering Mother Stephanie's dilemma. The exaggerated northwest area, which is a bathroom and dressing room, which was originally dark blue, was now decorated with white and navy, with the exaggerated southwest area, originally painted a drab yellow, was now painted white. Balancing the chi of the space with the element of the front door, the two bedrooms at the north end were decorated with white and light blue, while the parents' new bedroom, which was originally yellow, was now decorated with white and touches of gold to favor Mother Stephanie. The main room, because of its east and southeast areas, originally white, tan, and green, was now decorated with ivory, light blue, and navy, and beige curtains were placed at the south windows. Daughter Lisa's new bedroom, in addition to white, was decorated with green accents to accommodate her lucky star, four wood. Purple accents were used in son Michael's new room to accommodate his lucky star, nine fire. Soon after the changes were made, Mother Stephanie was able to make the decisions to take up interior designing as her career something she'd always wanted to do. Daughter Lisa, who was thrilled with her new bedroom, became much happier and began dancing lessons. Son Michael was very pleased with his new bedroom and Father Jason was glad to see the positive changes in the lives of his wife's wife and daughter. I have a great many videos now on many different topics and so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easy to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.